fuck! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> We're playing more Hotline Miami. Apparently, the credits doesn't mean that the game's over. I should have fucking seen this coming from this game. I don't know why it didn't, but so be it. The worst part is, I exited the game at this point because I couldn't record anymore. And this is not considered a save point. So I had to redo the last part over and over again. No, I'm kidding. I did it like two or three times again just to get through it. It's always, it's, at least I knew the mechanic this time, so it was pretty quick to get through it. Anyway, it seems we're now playing as, um, I had to look this up because I, I just wanted to. Um, it's Biker. Then nobody knows him as anything else. And yeah, so we're now in the past before obviously um, he was killed by me previously. And uh, yeah, so let's continue and see where this like part of the story takes us. Apparently there's quite a few chapters left. So I mean, I can get a couple more days recording out of this. Maybe, you know, a couple more centuries depending on how good I am. Anyway, just double checking that I am actually recording. Not like an idiot. Um, yeah, so let's continue. You think I'm stupid? Huh? Do I look stupid to you? I know you aren't telling me everything. You helped me get into this mess. You told me it would be exciting, didn't you? Well, I'm fucking bored. I'm done, man. I've had it. I want out. And you're gonna tell me how. This stupid game's gonna end now, you hear me? Alright, alright. Calm down, man. Okay, so I don't know who this guy is. Scar-faced barman. You don't realize how much trouble you'll be in. So. <laughs> There's a guy hiding out at the Blue Dragon. A tiny, ch a tiny Chinese restaurant downtown. He knows more. Just don't mention my name to anyone, okay? I'm as good as dead anyway. Can I just beat you to a pulp? Okay, so this is some like dodgy restaurant. Hey, and biker actually has a bike. Fucking, and I'm guessing this is the point at which the game saves, guys. Fuck me. Let's have a look around. So I can't choose my helmet or my bonus or anything else. Hey, but he's got some pretty good kills. And I got him a cleaver. And... Oh, do I have multiple cleavers? Maybe I picked up the cleaver from... The restaurant somewhere. Okay, pretty sure that guy would be able to see me. Maybe I can pick up that frying pan. There's a whole bunch of fucking people here, Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna try and aim at that guy. And yes, I can get him. That's good to know. Are there any more cleavers? No. Oh, seems I have infinite cleavers. No, I don't. I do not have infinite cleavers, guys. I have a couple of shots. And that's what I've got. And I can't change weapons either. That's interesting. I don't know how I'm going to kill this one. Okay. So, the trick is to not throw your cleavers unless you really have to. Okay. This guy, I think I really have to. And this guy, I might really have to. Oh. Should have maybe gone for the guy with the gun first. Oh shit. Lock them both. Okay, let's lock onto that guy. Get rid of him, get rid of him. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. You know, it always helps when you're killing somebody that you, you know, aim your weapon at them. Wow, I cut a guy in fucking half with a goddamn shit. This guy just doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, whatever man, I'm not paid for this shit. Kill me. Oh, God damn it. Too far around that corner, I think. Oh. That guy, sometimes he sees you, sometimes he doesn't see you. Fuck knows, nobody knows. Okay. 
No, if we come around here quickly, we don't get this guy quick. But. I can't believe I've gotten so bad at this game so quickly. Where's the difficulty I spiked it as well? It is weird that I can't, you know, equip other weapons. Damn it, there's so many guys with fucking guns in this room. Okay, I need to go for these two. Kinda. Okay, there we go. So yeah, go for the gun guys first. And that's the stage clear. What does this guy have to tell me? Hello? <laughs> Look here, punk. I've got some things I need to know. So you better answer my questions, okay? Who are the people who are leaving the messages? Leaving me messages? And don't even think about bullshitting me, okay? I won't hesitate to pull you apart if I have to. <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. Just don't hurt me. I can't tell you who's calling the shots. But they're using pheromone to sweep their trails. To sweep up their trails. Pheromone? I don't know why I read that as pheromone. Phone home. Phone home? Whatever phone home is. Probably a company, a phone company. I only helped them to set it up at the station. You'll have to hack into the system to trace them. I went into hiding as soon as the job was finished. They seem to have some form of political agenda. Scared the shit out of me. I spent all my savings on getting <laughs> this rat hole. That's all I have. Oh, well, I just killed like all your employees. All your friends. Or all your... Customers? I don't know, these guys look like Triad, but I'm assuming probably just more Russian Mafia. And that's it, guys. <laughs> Seven minutes. But, um, yeah. Caught me by surprise. I think I did a little bit better this time. There we go. My first A+. Plus. Oh, yeah. Playstyle picture. Probably because I threw and killed two guys that way. So yeah, my first A+, plus, my first weird, bad ending to a series, because the series isn't actually over, and I thought it was, and I spewed my guts out during the credits, you know, but oh well, fuck it, <laughs> life goes on, we got a new mask, we got Rick, I was also kind of wondering about that, because we haven't unlocked everything yet, so... I figured it was kind of, you just keep playing, but, you know, whatever. So we got Rick. And now we're back at our apartment. And I'm going to call it for that. <laughs> call it there, guys. A uh, nice short episode, you know. Biker actually has quite a nice fucking apartment compared to uh, Jacket. You know. But he's not living in, like, some kind of fucking slum. Anyway, guys. That's it for Hotline Miami today. If you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If you like Hotline Miami and the kind of bullshit that they pull, which infuriates me, but is also amazing, <laughs> be sure to check out their games. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the company right now. It's something with a D. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. Anyway, oh, I'll put the a link to the game in the description. I bought it from Steam, guys. I mean, you can buy it from wherever you want. Wherever it's available. All good, re all good retailers. Although it is an older game now, so you'll probably have to buy it digitally. And yeah, if you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And cheers, guys.